Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to round two of Mad Madness. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an AFC matchup today in Lincoln Financial in Philadelphia. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Jets. It's the Bills, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. So here's the bracket so far, upper left hand corner. You'll see that the Jets were able to beat the Dolphins to get to the second round, and you were able to see that the Bills were able to upset the Patriots 20-17 to to get to the second round, so should be an excellent game. Buffalo will kick off, so they'll get the ball to start the second half. Natson catches it deep in the end zone and takes a knee for the free 25, and they'll march it out. So here comes Bryce Petty. Um, I know that's not too exciting for many Jets fans, but I am raising all QB ratings to 80. So it should be a much more entertaining game than usual. So Jets will break huddle now. Petty under center. Hands to Powell, who gets about four yards on first down to make it second and six. And here's the Jets offense. And the Jets did just enough last week to beat or last round to beat the Dolphins in their last outing, winning because of a late TD. Their only touchdown of the game. They won ten to three. So to win the Jets need to find some offense. They broke through late against the Dolphins, scoring all 10 points in the fourth, but they need a start earlier to beat the Bills in this one. We'll see what they can do here as Petty hands the Powell up the gut. Gain of two on the play, setting up the first third down of the game. Jets are three for eight so far in Mad Madness. Here comes the Bills' defense. So they'll break huddle, just about 10 seconds left on the play clock as they get ready for this third and four. Four receivers wide. Petty's going to throw. It's Stewart who's got the catch and the first. Petty's first completion of the game. It's good for six. And he's clearly in bounds. So after the first down, we'll see what they do here. Petty under center, bunch set at receivers to his right. Running formation. They will throw, however. Quick dump off to Safarian Jenkins, who had a touchdown in their last game. Sets up a second and three on the seven yard reception. Todd Bowles looking on. Jets come out in the eye. Petty fakes the handoff and he's going to throw. He's got time. All day. Hits Anderson, Robbie Anderson, who's got the first. So Petty starts out three for three on this drive. And the Jets are marching. You give a quarterback that much time in the pocket, 
Doesn't matter who he is, he's going to find somebody open. Running formation for the offense. Powell gets the ball. Gain of two on the play. Sets up a second and eight. And the Jets are in Buffalo territory. Running formation once again. Same formation, just flipped to the other side. As Petty's under center. He's going to throw, however. And he's intercepted by Brown. And I think he was just, he just got kind of lost control of the ball. Excellent job by Brown diving down for that catch. It looked like an incompletion, but instead it's a pick. And that was Petty's first interception in Mad Madness. So they get a quick couple first downs and turn over the ball. Buffalo gets good field position as they come out now. And the Bills played outstanding in their last outing, upsetting the Patriots 20-17. to They had excellent offense, but they did have one turnover to beat the Jets. They should just try to keep control of the ball, no turnovers, have good defense, score some points, and the Jets should beat themselves. As Taylor tries to give it away on that deep pass. Multiple chances at an interception, but the ball falls harmlessly to the turf. So Buffalo survives, first down, and makes it to second down, second and ten. Flag down on the play. And that's going to hurt him. Third and eight becomes first and ten. And 15 yards on top of that. So Buffalo's in Jets territory now. Just under three to play in the first. Bills come out in a running formation. Ty Tyrod under center. Taylor to McCoy, and he goes nowhere. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up for Buffalo. And they had the manpower. They just couldn't stop him there. And they got to figure a way to get control of the line of scrimmage if they want to be able to run the ball late in this game and win it. Taylor under center in the eye. Taylor fakes the handoff. He's going to throw here on second down. Rolls to his right. Cuts up field. Throws deep down towards the end zone. And that's a bad interception by Roberts. <laughs> so Jets give it up. And Buffalo gives it up right back. Tries to go for it all, but turns into an interception. His first of Madden Madness as well. So Petty came out pretty hot, but threw a pick. We'll see if they can recover and figure out how not to throw a pick. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. 
Petty under center. He's going to throw out of the running formation. He's got Sterling. He's got a decent gain of seven yards, making it a second and short. Second and three upcoming. Running formation for the offense on this second and three. And Powell gets taken down short, but there's a flag down. I think this is another face mask. It is, and it's Kyle Williams. So the Jets will get a free 15, too. And a first down. And now they're on the edge of field goal range. So it was looking good for the Bills to get the first score of the game after their interception. But the Jets are actually the team that's going to have the best chance here near the end of the first. Petty to Powell. And Powell's going to get a couple of yards. And correction, they're not in field goal range. They're on their own, 45. In the eye are the Jets. Petty to Powell once again. And they'll get a couple more yards. Third and four coming up. And that'll take us to the end of the first. So one touchdown each. No points, though. Or one interception each. No points either. Zero, zero. We're back, Phantom Roy here, at the start of the second quarter. And the Jets have to get this first down to keep possession. Short yard situation though, third and four. They can run or throw, screen or deep bomb. We'll see what they do here. And they'll throw here. Petty. It's Anderson, and Anderson's got some space. Out to the 36. They are definitely in field goal range now. Anderson was just able to outrun the defender there and find the soft spot. From the 36, here comes this first and 10. Running formation for the offense. Delayed handoff to Powell, and Powell's pulled down. Gain of one, they'll say. Second and nine coming up. Three receivers, balance set. Pite. Petty to Powell, though. And they're going to get one more yard, so it's going to set up a third and eight. And as Petty's already thrown an interception in this one, I wonder how conservative they'll be with this play call. Running formation for the offense. Petty under center, but he will throw. 
He's got Safarian Jenkins, and there's a flag down as he's tackled. That might be a face mask, the third of the game, and that would make him in a really short goal-to-go situation. And it is. It's Jordan Poyer. So it'll be first and goal from the five. And the Jets are starting off pretty well on offense. Turnover aside. Definitely an improvement from the performance against the Dolphins. All right. Jets in the eye. Powell up the gut. Untouched. Touchdown, Powell. His first of Mad Madness. And that's what happens when blocking wins up front. Jets take an early lead. It's going to be 7-0. to zero. Hackenberg, oh, that's a high kick, but it's good. 7-zip. Jets lead. And now Bowles is hoping for a stop here, so the Jets can get the final possession of the half, potentially. And the kick's away. Tate's going to run it out. And he'll be taken down short, about a yard of where he would have been if he had simply taken a knee. And that's where Buffalo's going to come out. Taylor trying to bounce back from his interception. Has yet to complete a pass in this one. We'll see how hard they're going to work to try and fix that. Taylor fakes a delayed handoff, and he's got time. Flag down, and almost hits the man, but it's long and complete. And it's Vladimir Dukas. First and 20 now, and Buffalo's had a really rough start to this game. Got the early interception but unable to do anything and giving up a touchdown on the next drive. Let's see if they can overcome some early adversity. Three receivers. Taylor's going to throw. Rolls to his right, cuts up field, and he's scrambling up field, spins the defender, dodges one more and gets smacked down near the goal line, or near the first down. Second and one. So it seems that they will overcome some adversity. At least they are in prime position to. And Taylor was able to scramble like that for a touchdown in their last game against the Patriots. Not as good, but they will definitely take it. It's a game of 19. And he's got to find a way to avoid those hits, though. He might. If he t keeps taking those hits, he's definitely going to fumble. They rush out to the line. Showing blitz are the Jets. They will blitz. And Taylor's running for his life. Fumbles loose. Ball's out. Davis has it. And he can't stay up. He could have had the TD, but instead, they'll just settle for the fumble recovery. And Taylor has two turnovers in this game.
So the Bills just continue to dig their hole deeper as the Jets come out now. Already up seven in field goal range, but they don't want a field goal. They definitely want a touchdown. Let's see if Buffalo can find a way to stop the Jets deep in their own territory. Running formation in the eye are the Jets. Fakes the handoff. It's Petty. Petty hit as he th throws, and he gets the completion near the sideline. Excellent poise by Petty. Gain of five. And that's got to be a little bit frustrating for Sean McDermott to watch. Four receivers, Petty in the shotgun. Hand off to Powell, and Powell's got some space. Powell gets up to the five. Call it the six-yard line. And it's going to be first and goal just like that. So Powell's kind of exploding here late in the second. Jets in the eye. Hand off to Powell up the gut, and Powell's going to get really close. Play's still alive. They're going to say he's down at the one, and that might take us to the two-minute warning. And I'm really impressed by the Jets right now. They had that clutch win against the Dolphins in that last game, and in this one they're off to a hot start, doing exactly what I said they should should be doing. So two minute warning, Jets up 7 zip. So we're back on the short side of the two minute warning and the Jets have the ball second and goal. They just need a yard. Let's see if they can do it. They're going to come out of the huddle now. Heavy running. Petty under center. Hands the Powell. And Powell's in. Touchdown Jets. Powell's second touchdown of the game. And the Jets will make it a two possession game. So far, this is a pretty big upset. It's breaking my expectations. Extra points good. And you'd think that Buffalo, after beating the Patriots, arguably one of the best teams in, or empirically one of the best teams in the AFC, they'd have a better showing against the Jets who are arguably the worst in their division. So Taylor's got to figure out how to stop turning over the ball now. Already down 14. Kicks away, caught by Thompson, halfway deep into his end zone, and he's going to run it out. Should have taken the knee, though. They're only going to get it, going to get it out to the 24. And Taylor marches onto the field now, down 14. Both touchdowns coming off of turnovers committed by him. Let's see if he can overcome 
a lot of early adversity and make this comeback happen. They got two minutes, and they get the ball to start the second half, so it could be a tied ball game before the Jets get the ball back. Taylor's in the driver's seat. Let's see what he can do. Bunch set of receivers to the right. Taylor in the shotgun. He's going to throw. Incomplete. Had a target, but just could not connect. So it'll bring up a second and ten now. Four receivers. Taylor's going to throw again. And he's incomplete again. Four attempts, one interception, zero completions. The Jets' defense is locking down on Taylor. And so the Bills now have an obvious passing situation. It's third and ten. And interestingly enough, this is their first third down of the game. Taylor to McCoy, who's going to run for it, and he's got the first. And a little bit more. Jets take a timeout. They're going to say fourth and one. I would hope that really across. All right, let's see if there is a review here. You're inside of two minutes, so you can't. No review? Wow. Buffalo got snubbed on that one. Schmidt's going to punt. And Jets are going to get a chance to go up 21-0. But, ah. Uh, Punt just barely bounces into the end zone. That could have been a break that Buffalo des desperately needs. Coming out alone is Petty. Four receivers, five receivers, five wide. Petty throws over the middle. He hits Zafarian Jenkins for a six-yard gain. Second and four coming up. Clock running. You got a minute and a half. You can run your whole offense, but you need to step up the tempo a little bit. Four receivers, Petty in the shotgun, Powell to his left, Petty's going to throw, and he misses his receiver, low, his second miss of the game. Here comes a third and four, and the Jets have been excellent, two for two so far, trying to make it three for three. Three receivers, Petty in the shotgun, Powell to his left, Anderson in motion, Petty, it's a screen, hits Powell, and Powell's got some space, he's got the first and a heck of a lot more, out to the 45, and the Jets are just carving up this Buffalo defense right now, McDermott's got to figure something out, expecting the blitz on third and short, Dump it out to your running back in the flat with some linemen in front of him, and he'll go. He'll go places. So that makes him three for three on third down. And he's out of bounds, so that stops the clock. And the Jets are really in no rush now. Bunch set of receivers to his right. Petty under center. Petty's going to throw again. Hit Stewart. 
who loses control of the ball as he's hit pretty hard. Second and ten now. Clock stops at 55 seconds. Three receivers. Petty's going to throw. It's another screen to Powell and flag down. Powell gets hit in the backfield for a loss of three or four yards. They definitely saw that one coming. And decision time. Second and 20 or third and 13. They'll take a second and 20. I don't know. That might be a mistake. 10 yards two times or 13 yards once. Plus with this timing, the Jets have more power to run some clock if they want to. Let's see, second and 20. Bet he's going to throw. And nearly intercepted. Ball was forced a little bit by Petty, but it seems like the Bills made a good call to get the incompletion they need, and it's third and 20 now. Ball was in his hands. Very lucky that one wasn't intercepted. All right, on to the next play, third and 20. Petty in the eye. I think they're just going to try and run this clock out. Oh, they're going to fake the handoff. They're going for it. Petty. Hit as he releases, and ball's jarred loose by a hit by the defender. Kind of pointless either way. But he wasn't even close to the first down. And that'll bring up a fourth and 20. So the Bills will get a chance to get some points on the board before the end of the first half. Edwards to punt, kicks away. Caught at the 10 by Tate, and Tate's smacked down at the 15, gain of 5 on the run back. Just under 35 seconds from your own 15. I'm not sure how aggressive you really want to play this. Thirty-four seconds left. It might be worth it to just try and execute a simple run or a screen, something with a low percentage of risk, and if it can break big, then you have timeouts and there's things you can do, but definitely don't want to force anything in this down a distance and from this part of the field. Under center is Taylor. Taylor to McCoy, and McCoy can't shake the defender as he's brought down, gain of six. And we'll see. I think they're just going to let it run down. They are going to break huddle and at least appear to try and do something, but they will. And McCoy gets a first, but it's a moot point as we reach halftime. So, Bills are getting shut out. So far, down 14 points. And no halftime here in Madden Madness. On to the third. Buffalo will get the ball first to start the second half. and they have the power to make it a one possession game. Kicks away. Caught by Thompson who's going to wisely take a knee as he caught that ball pretty deep in the end zone. Ball comes out to the 25. 
speaking of 25, here comes out number 25 and number 5. So after two turnovers in the first half, Taylor's got to figure out a way to get down the field, and he's got to figure out a way to not turn the ball over while doing so. Buffalo has been outgained over 4-1 to one so far. Four receivers for Taylor, who fakes the handoff. He's going to run it up himself. And he spins down, gain a 5 on the play. And that might be the key to this game for Buffalo. Trying to get Taylor involved in the running game. They can't pass. And they can't rely on their line. Setting up some runs that the quarterback's going to have to do some things, make some magic happen. Taylor to McCoy, and McCoy's got some space. Gets close to the first down. They're going to call it third and inches. And this is going to be the Bills' second third down attempt of the game, surprisingly. Third and inches. We'll see what they do here. Most teams obviously like to run. They... Yeah, they're close. <laughs> Clay in motion. Taylor in the shotgun. Hands to McCoy at the gut, who's got it first. He's got it. Muhammad Wilkerson with the tackle. So five minutes left in the third. As Buffalo comes out four wide, Taylor in the shotgun. Hands to McCoy, and McCoy's brought down. They're going to say he got one, maybe two yards on the play. And that'll bring up a second and eight. And maybe this is Buffalo's idea. Keep the ball out of Taylor's hands as much as possible. Taylor to Tolbert. And Tolbert's got space on his first run. Mike Tolbert shakes the defender, gets hit for one more. His first rush is good for 31. Where's he been all game? And just like that, Buffalo's in deep New York territory in field goal range. Huddle breaks. Ten seconds left on the play clock. Let's see if the Jets actually blitz here. Showing blitz. Taylor fakes. The hand, dumps it off to Clay. And Clay gets it up to the 22. Gain of 9 on the play. And curiously enough, that is Taylor's first completion of the game here midway through the third. So big run and decent play action game uh, play. Jets showing blitz. Hands to McCoy. McCoy's got the first and an extra yard or two. Ball comes out to the 19. They're in New York red zone. This is the deepest they've been all game long. Let's see if they can capitalize. Taylor sends Benjamin in motion. Taylor's going to throw. And fumbles out. Nearly had a third turnover, but... Luckily, his man saved him.
And at the beginning of the telecast, I said that the Bills had to avoid turnovers. And they're doing a terrible job of that. And that's why they're getting shut out right now. Down 14 points. Touchdown is pretty crucial here. Minute and a half left in the third. Second and 15 now. After the recovered fumble. Taylor fakes a handoff. Throws. Incomplete. Wasn't even close. And third and 15 now. For the Bills. Four receivers. Obvious passing situation. Jets rushing four. Taylor's got time. No, he doesn't. He hits it off to Tolbert. And Tolbert gets kind of close. Gets it out to the 13. And sets up fourth and three. And Buffalo is probably going to settle for the field goal. Peterman holds for the kick, which is good. So Buffalo finally gets on the board. How she nails it. Down 11. And that had a really good chance of getting seven points, but the, the fumble that cost, or the, the sack fumble that was luckily recovered turned into second and long, and then on third and long, you can't really expect to convert those every time, so Buffalo could have lost, probably lost four points on that fumble. Caught by Natson, who's going to run it out past the 20, past the 25, and close to the 30 down at the 29. It's good for 31 yards. As Petty walks out now. End of the third. It's a little bit too early to be trying to run the clock down. But there is only seven and a half minutes left in this game. A touchdown might seal it. But a field goal. Definitely, while not mathematically sealing. Definitely more uh, morally. Definitely hurts the Bills. Powell. He's got a little bit of space. Gets about seven yards on the carry. And that might do it for the third. They're going to break hull, and they're going to be too slow. So that's going to take us to the fourth. Jets in the driver's seat, up 11, 14 to 3. See what happens after this. So there you have it. Jets put up 14 in the second. Bills just put up three. Let's see if the Bills can continue to score. But first, they have to stop the Jets. Second and three. Petty under center, showing run. Powell. Gets about two, and that sets up third and one. The Jets have done a really good job in this game of keeping it, or keeping their third downs in third and short territory. This will be their fifth attempt of the game. 
there, four for five thus far. Powell. Gets it. Wow. Just barely enough. Tries to spin for a little bit more, and luckily he's already past the first down marker. Otherwise, that spin would have been really costly. And they were three for four on third down before that play. Actually, not four for four. Running formation for the offense. Hands to Powell, who's got some space. Who stumbles forward for a gain of about nine. Second and one coming up. And Powell's having a solid game. Two touchdowns, and he's getting kind of close to the 100 yard mark. Second and one now. Jets have been pretty even in their play calling. Could be a run or a pass. Bills rushing four. Safarian Jenkins gets the catch. And the first. So they elect to just continue the time of possession battle. Under five minutes left. That might be a good idea up two scores. Running formation for the offense once again. Petty to Forte, his first run of the game, and that's a good run. So the backup runners are having pretty good production on their limited touches. That one's good for 14. And they're in field goal range. Jets can make it 17 to 3 if they get stopped here. And down 14, the Bills will need some very solid play. Tomlinson in motion. Powell. Brought down, but there is a flag. That's a gain of six if the play stands, as is. That's Wesley Johnson, and that's costly. That brings him out of field goal range. First and 18. So we can... So the Jets have been really good at managing their down and distance. Let's see what happens when they get back behind the chains. Petty under center. Running formation, hands to Powell. And Powell's going to get stopped after a gain of only two. Second and 16 coming up. Just under three minutes now in the fourth. Jets just trying to run out the clock. Hands to Powell, and Powell slugs forward to the 35. Gain of about four, third and 12 upcoming. And the Jets have been pretty smart here on third down. Let's see what they can draw up here. The play clock is in sync with the game clock. Down to the two minute warning. Petty's gonna throw here on third and 12. It's Hansen wide open and Hansen dodges the defender and gets the first. So, third and 12 convert. That was his first catch of the game. And the Jets are in prime position to win this thing. Up 14 to 3. 
No scores in the fourth, but that doesn't matter because the Jets. Jets are on top. Up 11. In the eye is Petty. Petty to Powell. And Powell's brought down, but there's a flag. And I think that's going to give him a free 15. Doesn't give him 15, but it gives him a free 12. And that brings the ball out to the 11. So the Jets are just commanding this game. And Buffalo needs either a turnover or a turnover. So, Jets in the eye. Hand, hand off to Powell. And there's another flag. So a lot of flags here late. Let's see what this is about. Another face mask? Oh my gosh. That's going to make it first and goal. The Buffaloes just did not show up to play today. And it becomes more and more apparent as the game continues. And what a surprise, another flag on the defense. And that'll be first and goal from the two. Seems like the Bills just want the Jets to deliver this knockout punch. Buffalo needs a stop here, and then they need to get down the field without using a timeout in a quick fashion, and then they need a three and out, and then they need the ball back, and then they need to get into the end zone again just to force OT as Petty's going to throw on first. Rolls to his right, and he throws his first touchdown, his second touchdown of Madden Madness. Here late, and this one looks rough. That was a cut. That was caught by Austin Safari and Jenkins. Oh, sorry, that was Robbie Anderson on the catch. Got to show him his dues. So this game's just been a shellacking. And here's the extra point now to make it 18-point game. Kicks away. And it's good. So with that score, I'm going to go out of here on a limb and say that the Jets are gonna win this game so let's take a look at the bracket officially Jets will take on the winner of Kansas City and the Raiders that game will be up next hope you guys will be around to see it It'll probably be a better game than this one. Just random idea. So, and all those things I said earlier as they wait for this kickoff, which is deep, and forces them to take the knee and the free 25. So Taylor's going to march out now. And this game just feels over one last drive for pride maybe so you lost so it looks better on the scoreboard losing 11 
Losing by 11 points looks a lot better than losing by 18, so... Let's see if Buffalo can at least make it look a little bit better. Four receivers. Taylor. Dumps off to Benjamin over the middle, and there's a flag down. Another flag, and I think that's going to be a free 15. And it is what it looks like. So Buffalo's out at midfield now after that, that first play. And this kind of reminds me of a game that they had earlier this year where Taylor struggled. I can't remember if he wasn't present or if he just struggled in the first half, but he really he wasn't there either physically or mentally, whatever it was, or otherwise, as Taylor's alone here in the shotgun. But he ended up throwing three, tu three touchdowns and having a pretty good day in fantasy points, at least. As he gets a pretty good completion now, finally, 25 yards. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember which game that was, but it was definitely this year I saw it. Taylor under center, three receivers, he's going to throw Taylor, hits Thompson who runs out of bounds to stop the clock, and Taylor's now at 50% completion rate on the day, and they're on the edge of the red zone, right at the 20, minute and a half left, as Buffalo breaks huddle. Taylor. It's James who slips a tackle off the slant, and it's a gain of 11, and they're going to hurry to the line. First and goal now. Taylor. Incomplete. Missed his man too long. If he hit him, he might have had a shot at the end zone, but instead, it's going to set up a second and goal from the nine. Minute and ten seconds left in this one. Four receivers. Taylor. Steps up, throws on the run, and it's incomplete, but there's a flag down. This might be pass interference. Oh. So he ran out of bounds and came back and was the first player to touch the ball, so that's just going to cause a loss of down. Ball's going to be snapped from the nine here, third and goal obviously in four down territory down 18 with a minute left four receivers Taylor looking to throw and he will rolls to his right to and then to his left and panics and throws it away. So fourth and goal now. And this is a totally different Taylor than we saw play, who played against the Patriots. Totally different team. It feels like the Patriots should be here and not the Bills as they line up for this fourth and goal. But before the snap, there's a flag down. 
Man, it's a false start. Ouch. Four receivers. Taylor. Fumbles again. And it's recovered by the Jets, and that's going to do it. So his... God, what is it? Hold on. Taylor's second fumble and his third turnover of the game. So they can't even get a feel good touchdown. Tomlinson in motion. Petty to Powell. And the clock's running. Buffalo's not using their timeouts. They know it's over. Petty to Powell, and that's the last play. All right, so there you have it. The Bills win 21-3, to and they get to move on to the next round. So was your prediction right? Let us know in the comments. If you want to see the Jets in their next game, be sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and until next time, this is Phantom Roy saying, have a good one.